Hey guys, what's up? So I have not vlogged in forever, but I'm gonna get started again. I just went to the mall to try to buy Casey's palette and they're like, oh, it's only online right now and it will be in store next week. I'm like, but I drove all the way here. I just want it. I want it. But I will come back next week and get it. I know I can buy it online and like I should, but oh, I, First of all, I don't want to pay for shipping because that's a lot of wasted money. I'm mixing my sock. And two, um, what was two? Two was I like to swatch them right in store because I know I'll probably get the pearl palette, but I really want to swatch them in store to make sure like I was swatching. Can you see those? No? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was swatching some Becca highlighters. And I'm, I know I'm gonna get pearl because it's gonna look better on my skin, but I'm so indecisive, I need to see it in store. Which is like part of the thing why I didn't buy, ever buy Kylie stuff. Because I don't know what lipstick color would look good on me. Um, and second of all, they're like super fucking expensive, which I'm not paying all that money for it. But yeah, so I will come back next week and I'll bring you guys with me to buy the Casey palette and I am so excited. I want it. If there's free shipping online, I'm gonna buy it online. Hey guys, so I just left the mall. <laughs> you saw that clip. So you just saw me leaving the mall, not getting the Sephora palette, or the Sephora, the Casey palette, and I had like something totally awesome to tell you guys. So I tweeted, I made a video on my Instagram, um, basically saying the same stuff you just saw me say, and I had posted it to the obviously my Twitter and my Tumblr for my channel and Casey so Casey replied to me like she replied to me it wasn't like that like heartbreaking or like groundbreaking um, it was just a bunch of crying emojis but it's totally cool and she, like she replied to me so it's like so awesome now you can see me because there's no sun but I just had to come on here and say that guys because I was really excited that she replied to me and yeah so hopefully when I get my palette next week um, and I tweet about it then, she will reply to me again. And I'm really excited. Okay, I had to say that. Bye, guys. Okay, hey, guys. So I just left the mall. See that small mall back there? And I have the palette. The coveted, oh, my God, the coveted Casey Holmes palette and as soon as I get into the car I will show you guys all of it because I'm so excited oh my god the palette okay I have not taken out of the box and I just left them all but I did swatch it in store and did film a little bit of me grabbing a palette but here it is the Casey Holmes and Smashbox spotlight palette um in spotlight pearl oh I'm so excited oh my god opening with one hand kind of Kind of really sucks. Okay. Oh, oh looks so pretty. Oh, that is so nice. So here is the front of the palette. I know everyone has already seen this because it is all over the place right now. But here is the front of the palette. Look at that. That's so pretty. Can I? Oh, I can open it with one hand. Ah, and here, very large mirror, which is awesome. And then the colors. Can you see? Yeah. There we go. So we have glow of fuse pearl. Crank it up pearl and turn it on pearl. They're so pretty. I cannot wait to get home and play with these. It's gonna be amazing. I am now officially on spring break, so there will be plenty of pictures and videos of me playing with this palette because I'm so excited. Um, I have a bunch of things in my Amazon, or not Amazon, in my Sephora cart that I will get sporadically over the next couple months because I just got a job. I'm gonna start working, get in that bank after I get a new phone. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. This is my baby. I love it. Oh my God, I am so happy. I am now gonna tweet at Casey Holmes that I actually got the palette because last time um, I made an Instagram video. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out my Instagram. It's on there. Go check out my Twitter because Casey Holmes retweeted me. I made a video, put it on my Instagram saying, oh my God, I drove all the way here. Everything that you heard of like, the first clip. 
Um, I then posted it onto Twitter and Casey Holmes retweeted me. Or not retweeted, but she replied to me. So I'm gonna tweet now that I got the palette and I'm gonna put it on um, when I get home. I don't have a brush with me. But hopefully Casey will tweet me then too. Okay, so I am gonna head home get food and I will see you guys in the next clip probably me playing with the palette. Hey guys, so I probably look really bad. I've been not having good makeup like recently. So yesterday morning when I was doing my makeup, um uh my elf powder brush fell into the toilet. So obviously can't use that anymore. So I threw it away and I um couldn't find a brush to use well yesterday um so my makeup was cakey and then last night i bought a wet and wild powder brush for powder right um and it sucked it again my face just is oily it doesn't feel like my makeup set at all Ugh. and i'm been not having good things with my concealer because i've been doing just concealer and not really anything else and it's, everything just sucks so i just went to walmart I am going to Wilmington tomorrow morning at like 5.30 in the morning. Um, so I just went to Walmart to pick up some things, like some snacks and stuff. And I got a few products. I am driving, so I don't really want to show you until I stop. But I got a BB cream because I was watching, of course, Casey Holmes. It's Blondie. And the BB cream she was using was the Flower Beauty one. And it's $13. And they have four shades. So I knew the lightest one was going to be too dark because I'm not like super super pale but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pale I'm I'm not fair I'm not ivory or fair but I'm like nude ivory it, it's weird so I got that I got a new concealer I got a Maybelline one that I know I used before because they didn't really have the fit me was not I love the fit me but it was just not working for me anymore I need something thicker if I'm just gonna wear foundation or not found it concealer on a regular basis and it's just not working so I'm stopping right now and I will show you what I got da -da 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 -da. okay so of course I got a new elf brush um, it feels pretty good and we'll, we'll see so I got this so I got this BB cream. It is the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, BB cream for oily skin in two in 520 light. So I swatched them on my arm. So right there, I don't even know if you can see it, but on my by my thumb, it was the fair, and right somewhere there um, is the light, and it looks like it's gonna match. Um, the orangey part is the concealer I got. So, I got the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. I know I've used some, it was like, it's, it is a, I can find it. It is like one of those crank up ones, and I know I've used them before, but maybe I didn't use the highlight one, because this one just looks orange to me, and I know it's not going to be good for just concealer days. I put some on, uh, but it's over top of my makeup, so I don't even know. I put some on here. I kind of put some here, trying to see. I put some here, so it kind of matches. I just wanted to see, like, on skin that I have no makeup on right now, what it looks like. And it kind of matches, so we'll see. Hopefully it works. I got fish, because I want a fish. I also got, because last week I got that pimple right here. And it swelled up my nose so bad and I just I needed to clean cleanse everything. So I got a charcoal mask from Say Yes to Charcoal. From the Say Yes to brand. Um of Say Yes to Charcoal. I got a charcoal mask. I got a it was a feeling beautiful charcoal mask. Um I got these Biore um charcoal pore strips. So I've used the Biore, Biore pore strips. I've never used the charcoal one, so we'll try this and see how it works. Um, and I also got, um, the Clean and Clear, Clean and Clear Acne Spot Treatment because I have stopped getting this because I've taken medicine for my acne. Oh my God. It has been a month since I've stopped taking that and I have gotten breakout 
I got a pimple. I stopped taking it and I got a pimple. I wonder if that really says anything. Um, but I stopped getting it because I stopped needing it since I've been taking acne medicine. and I haven't really got anything except for that one. So I got another one in case I get more. It's still kind of there. It's no longer a white head or black head or whatever it was. No longer anything. It's just kind of a mark. And it's a real bump. So, we'll see. I'm going to do all the face masks and stuff tonight to try to clear out my pores so I don't I'm going, I'm going to Wilmington tomorrow with gross skin. But I will be taking you guys with me because mm, I'm driving for two hours by myself. It's two and a half hours to get there. And I'm leaving at like 5.30. I have to be there around 8.30. So it kind of sucks. But I will be taking you guys with me. I want to vlog the campus, campus a little bit. And all of that. Um, I'm mostly going to be just listening to podcasts on the way there. Um, I don't think I've ever talked about the podcast. But if you guys don't know, I watch Gilmore Girls. I'm obsessed with Gilmore Girls. Um, on my ins on my Twitter, I think I tweeted about a, a Gilmore Girl watching thing with my mom. Um, I love Gilmore Girls and everything. So I found this podcast. It's called Gilmore Guys. Um, and it's just these two guys. One ha one guy grew up with Gilmore Girls. He watched it live from, like, season four on. Um, and he has watched it since. And he loves Gilmore Girls. The one other guy is new. And he's watching it for the first time. And this podcast has been on since, like, 2014. Um, so, but I've, like, gotten through a lot of it. I'm at the end of their 2015 year. Um, they started in October 2015. Or 14. I'm not sure. October 2015. Um, I'm in season five, so it's pretty good. They do um, all of the Gilmore Girls. They do interviews with the cast. They do their mailbag episodes. Their um, maybe something else. Live shows, which is really fun. And they also they did the ATX festival um, in 2015 when the cast of Gilmore Girls was there and everything. Um, and they did like five episodes on the revival they did one overall episode and then one for each season and those episodes are like four hours long so their usual podcast is about an hour and a half hour 15 to two hours so it's not that bad because i just listen to it um whenever i have free time playing in the background showering walking to class all that stuff um so that's pretty cool uh, and they also did Bunheads, which is also by the creators who created Gilmore Girls. She created Bunheads too, which was only on for 18 episodes. Yeah. So that is happening. That is really fun. That's the podcast I listen to. Um, I'll leave it down below and I'll leave their YouTube down below because some of their live shows, they have taped the whole thing so you can watch them. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, that'll be linked down below if I remember to link it because I don't remember to link things ever. But yeah, so I am almost home. Oh, squirrely. I get really sad when squirrels get hit on the road. And this is the second one I've seen on the road almost get hit. So. I am pulling up to my house now. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Uh, I am home. So I'm going to go make dinner and watch TV. Go more girls, probably. And. I hate parking on the street, and I told my brother to park on the street because um, I had to leave at 5.30. My parents were out of town, and they're coming home tonight. So, mind everything. I will see you guys later. Probably tomorrow on campus.